This is another opportunity for us to uh, come together and hear and learn of the word of truth that's given to us by the Most High God. TJ! Yes. Sorry. All honor goes to the Father through the Son, whose name is Yahushua. In him lies the only hope for salvation. We know that it is obtained by grace through faith, not of works, lest anyone should boast and give it freely as a gift to all who obey him. We understand that if we do not obey him, it's made manifest or made obvious that we do not believe. In this state, we should expect no good thing from the Most High. However, anything that we do give, whether it be a gift of tongues or a gift of prophecy or any supernatural experience that we may have, it can and it will be used against us in the day of judgment. With that said, peace to the saints that are in the room, to the saints that couldn't make it, but no peace to the wicked. The only thing we say to them is repent that they might live. I mean, we just need some ushers, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> white gloves. You know what I'm saying? Probably here with the white gloves, you know what I'm talking about? White gloves. Sit down. Please take a seat. You know what I'm saying? Why are these Christians so darn extra? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, I don't want me in there with white gloves. Good point, why? You know what I'm talking about? Who's this black face that's racist? You know what I'm saying? White gloves. You know, they bring tea. What up? They always got the, you know what I'm saying, like a little towel over the cup. You know what I'm saying? Like that thing will get contaminated from the wall from right here to the darn pastor. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That'd be them real churches, though. You know, some churches they they don't got them things. You know? They be sitting there watching your butt. They watch your butt. When you get past that plate, they watch your butt. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They always made me nervous. I ain't had nothing. I used to ball up my fist and act like I put something in there. <laughs> they they feel, feel ashamed when you You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I just <laughs> lied to God. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> These people did that. I don't know what's wrong with these dark crits. Uh, uh, they so uh, darn extra. Make sure everybody gets it. You get your. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, well, here, go ahead and get another one just in case. <laughs> Damn, I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? They, had, they give you the little thing you gotta fill out. Yeah. I used to fill out that thing, fill up, put, put some change in there, just make it feel like I did something. I said, don't worry, but don't look at the thing. I say, just say 25 cents. Go ahead. Yeah. You know what I'm Put that thing in there. These boys is extra. I think all right, bro. Get at you. Yeah, these Muslims came to my door, uh, what was that, yesterday? Oh, yeah? I think so. Yeah, Muslims. Well, you're came. on the West Side, so yeah. Yeah, Muslims. I guess a young man got shot over here. Oh, man. Got shot and killed. Um, I ain't nothing in the body that came knocking at the door. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? I respect that, though, man. I, I respect that piece of it. Like, I, I like, I like, I like the organization of the Muslims and the militants, you know what I'm saying? Like, them boys, you know what I'm saying? They don't be playing, especially about their people, you know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't really be playing. It's just unfortunate that, you know what I'm saying? Don't nobody teach us nothing. Just like what you were just talking about, you know what I'm saying? Nobody teaches nothing. Nobody teaches our history, even the history that's in the book. Nobody taught us. That's, that's why we go over it. But <clears throat> nobody teaches, like, they teach us to hate the Pharisees. They don't teach us that, oh, well, the Pharisees were birthed out of, a, uh, out of an attitude that came from Nehemiah. You know what I'm saying? And Nehemiah had no ill intention. But it just shows you how, like, little things can happen. And if you don't, if you don't keep sight of what's important, you lose it. You know what I'm saying? You end up going, you know what I'm saying, going on, on down the way and losing it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying? Same thing for these Muslims. These Muslims just operating in something and they see they're attracted to the to the strength. You know what I'm saying? They're attracted to the militants. They're they attract they they're attracted to the um, they're attracted to the uh to the order. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot it's a lot of order. You know what I'm saying? Which are all, all those are good things or can be good things. You know what I'm saying? So you get it and you you know, you actually see them out there and they they handing out their, you know what I'm saying, they, they final call newspaper, you know what I'm saying, something they, you know what I'm saying, they bean pies and all that crazy stuff they be doing, you know what I'm saying, but at the same time, they out there and they knocking on, they knocking on the door, you know what I'm saying, bringing awareness, they out there, they, I, I can hear them outside yelling, you know what I'm saying, just basically, you know what I'm saying, like, our lives matter out here, you know what I'm saying, it's not, you know what I'm saying, as, as extra as the Christians are, you know what I'm saying, you got, you got a, you got a glove on, and you know what I'm saying, you handing the patch of water, you know what I'm saying, they're not really out there doing that. You know, they're not really out there doing that. So, you know, that's something, that's something I appreciate. Even us, right? We ain't out there doing that. So, I appreciate that. Um, them boys can't teach you nothing about the book. You know what I'm saying? But you can definitely look for them and glean from what the Most High God put in their heart in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, having order. You know what I'm saying? Having strength, being fearless in certain situations. 
You know what I'm saying? You just need to be fearless and understand the book of the word. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, it's, um... Them boys be real if they knew what we really were. Yeah, man. It's like, that's, that's, that's our people, man. It's like, you know what I'm saying? You can see it. It's like different different people, even in the Christians. You know what I'm saying? Even in these black churches. You can see the strength in our people. You know what I'm saying? It's just that, you know, it's just our people's strength get applied in our, our creativity and our, 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 um, our spirit is just applied incorrectly. You know what I'm saying? These, these, these churches, you know what I'm saying? These black churches that we go in, that stuff is, it's that that's our spirit. You know what I'm saying? And they got other spirits in that thing too, but that's our spirit that like, that keep that thing jumping and keep it exciting and fun. What do you think we were reading about, you know what I'm saying, the other week when we were talking about David? When David was going, you know what I'm saying, when David was up dancing and all that stuff, but that's all that was. That was the same thing. It was the same type of idea. You know what I'm saying? It's just that, it's just that, you know what I'm saying, we we apply it incorrectly. We apply it to all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we we lose sight, but a lot of this stuff has just been taken from. I was talking to my sister, and I was trying to explain to her. Um, I was just trying to explain to her, like, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, you, yeah, white people did some stuff, and yeah, they wrong and all that, but. You know what I'm saying? Don't put no extra on. Don't make it seem like they, you know what I'm saying? They ain't, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't geniuses out here now. Don't make it seem like they just had this thing all planned out from the beginning. Like, oh, we gonna have a black man. Just like, no, that's not how that thing works. I was like, you gotta, you gotta understand how it happened. Because otherwise, you start looking at these people, it's feel impossible to you. We'll never overcome this. And we're, no, they not that sharp. You know what I'm saying? It's the, a lot of stuff fell in their lap. Fell in their lap. You know what I'm saying? You have Muslims, you know what I'm saying, that enslaved us. Happened to go to war with the Muslims. Then at that point, it's like, oh, okay, oh, y'all got some slaves. Why are we fighting each other? If y'all got, we just want a slave. You know what I'm saying? Oh, y'all got slaves. Oh, we got those same slaves. Oh, you know where they at. Oh, okay, that got them. I'll tell you what. We ain't got to fight no more. I'll give you this. You give me that, and let's go into the new world. White folks just got a leg up on that situation. Muslims was fucking on their area. White folks is like, you know what I'm saying? Let's go to the new world. Let's figure out something else. They trying to escape their kings. They trying to escape their land for the religion's sake, right? Muslims have more order. Muslims like listen, it's, it's get down or die, right? So their order was different. You know what I'm saying? They're just looking at it, look, it's get down or you die. That's it. For the white folks, it was like they're trying to have, you know what I'm saying? They're trying to have like a a different idea, like you know what I'm saying? Christian is the right thing to do, and this is the only way to do it. They're looking like you know what I'm saying? We just gotta get out of dodge. You know what I'm saying? Christian was killing people too. You know what I'm saying? They're killing, they're killing folks too. But it wasn't like the Muslims. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like the Muslims. Muslims were killing some folks. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? So the Christians, they had an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Well, we want to be a different type of Christian. So let's go to the, let's go over the water. You know what I'm saying? You're a different type of Christian bug over that water. And there's a whole lot of other type of people over there and now some slaves. You know what I'm saying? All that stuff just kind of fell in their lap. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, it wasn't no grand screen scheme. They just sitting here, you know what I'm saying? No, it's just, it kind of fell in their lap. These people ain't that sharp. You know what I'm saying? They just as sharp as some of us. You know what I'm saying? They just as dumb as some of us too. You know what I'm saying? But it's, uh, we just got to make sure we keep that stuff in mind, teach these people, put that stuff in, in, in the right perspective. You know what I'm saying? That's why these people, you know what I'm saying? A lot of their stuff, a lot of stuff they do is not right, not really all that bright. You know what I'm saying? Like you can actually see through it. If we were thinking straight, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, if we wasn't so focused on, you know, oh, Trump, you know what I'm saying? If we wasn't so focused on all the stuff that they, they, they tried to distract us with, you know what I'm saying? We were thinking straight, we'd be able to see through that stuff. It was a lot of time we were talking about the other day, that outrage marketing thing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people can't figure that thing out. You know what I'm saying? Looking at it, it's like, okay, so why would Gucci have blackface? I mean, everybody know black. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would Katy Perry have a shoe? I mean, that's that darn crazy. It don't even make sense. Like, why would she do something like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would Prada make a darn outfit with a noose? Like, that don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, these things, these, these big old brands, right. right? These are brands, not just big old brands. These are brands that rappers rap about that they make it cool. Right. Why in the world would you disrespect the very thing that's making you cool? I'll tell you why. It's the same reason, you know what I'm saying, George Zimmerman shoot a black kid, and then sell a painting of the black kid dead on the floor for, you know, thousands of bucks or millions of bucks. I don't know how much he sold it for, but you know what I'm saying? Well, he make all that money off of it, right? Because white people support anything that causes us pain. Same thing with Trump. It's not just us, right? Trump, these, these white folks didn't like Trump, right? A lot of these white Democrats didn't like Trump. But guess what? It's a lot of white Republicans and people in middle America that felt ignored by the white Democrats. Right? So they say, oh, okay. Oh, this is something that make the white Democrats mad? Y'all been ignoring us for years. 
Oh, y'all don't like him? Oh, well, now we voting for him. Just because y'all don't like him. Oh, y'all think, oh, y'all think, y'all think he crazy? Oh, we think he makes sense. Just because y'all think he crazy. Right? It's just a rebellion. And that's what white folks do. That's what anybody do. You know what I'm saying? But that's especially what the white folks do. So when Prada make that noose and somebody hang, you know what I'm saying? They make that noose and they clearly, you can tell what it is. You know what I'm saying? When they make that, they're making it so that we get upset. When we get upset, guess what goes on to their sales? That thing shoot through the roof. Right? They're not the first ones to do it. That thing been happening. It happened at least once or twice a year, every year. Yeah, but mm -hmm. Right? Y'all remember the Dove soap? Yeah. The Dove, Dove commercial? Mm -hmm. No. The other one with the, uh, the different body type. Yeah, the the commercial and they, you know what I'm saying, they strung them, they strung them pictures together. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, you know what I'm saying, like this white girl and then, you know what I'm saying, and she's like she's like take what was it what was they doing? Taking off a putting on a shirt or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, I think they was like putting on a shirt, but basically the the whole the the idea of it without saying it, you know what I'm saying, like you just change frames of the picture and you start off as a black girl, you know what I'm saying, end up being a white girl and this is dove soap, so we'll wash you that clean. You know what I'm saying? So it's just you know what I'm saying? Like different, bad. all that stuff. All it is, it was another one too. It was a, what was the other one that, that had us uh had us hot for a little while? It was another. It was one more. That day was the good H &M too. One? Oh yeah, H and M. Yeah. yeah. Sales went through the roof. Oh, by the monkey shirt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sales went through the roof. Right. When it happens, the white folks like, oh, oh, look at all these black people mad about this. Oh, you know what? Just for that, we gonna buy it. Then they go support it more. Right? And we out here, we think we got allies. You know what I'm saying? We think they on our side. These folks ain't on your side. You be like, <laughs> you like a crummy, crummy yeah. apology. You know what I'm saying? They apologize every time, too. Yeah. It, we don't know. It didn't even mean that. Right? right? We it, it didn't even mean. That's not even what we were trying to do. Oh, the, yeah, okay. the Kendall Jenner with her Pepsi commercial during the whole riot shootouts and all that other stuff. Yeah, just, I mean, just have, I mean, these she people. She was able to walk through the crowd and not get shot by the police, like walk right up to him and hand him a Pepsi, but nobody else could or whatever. That one was even more fake. Pepsi is good. Because they did their, their, Pepsi did their really good. See, that one wasn't even a real outrage. Pepsi created the outrage, right? They put that, that video out there. Didn't nobody <laughs> care about that. They, Ain't none of us even darn seen that darn commercial. They didn't even air the commercial on TV. That thing was completely manufactured. They did that thing good. They put it out there. It was nothing really offensive about the about the the the, the commercial at all. But what they did is they said, you know what? This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the commercial out there. We're gonna create the outrage for it, right? We gonna put our own people out there to complain about it. And then we complain, we're gonna say, this is what we meant about the video. We don't see what was so bad about it, guys. And it really wasn't so bad. So now you got a whole bunch of white people like, oh, these black people are tripping. Because you know our dump sale. As soon as we see a few black people complaining about it, we going to latch on to it. We just be like, oh, you know what? Ah, it's so bad. I can't believe Pepsi. I can't. Kylie Jenner, this, that, another. Because, you know, they try to teach us who to hate. You know what I'm saying? We don't like Kard Kardashians and Jenners. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going to never rock with them. So as soon as they put one in there, it just... I was like, oh, Pepsi, you a genius for that. One, you didn't do nothing wrong, so the black people ain't really offended. That thing just gonna blow over in a week. You know what I'm saying? So you still gonna keep the black sales. And then at the same time, you gonna have all the white people buying it just because the black people mad about something that really they shouldn't be mad about. So the white people getting frustrated like, I looked at the video, there's nothing offensive about this. Why are you guys tripping? Buy me a Pepsi. <laughs> they ain't just make deep company and make a fool, and they ain't just making a fool out of black folks. They making a fool out of all of them. How you think the white? How you think? How you think the white man feel when they put a noose on the shirt? He think he think it's because they racist, and he go buy the thing. They ain't racist at all. It's just like all right, let's see it work. Their whole target was to get you to buy it, dummy. You balling for it just like we did. Whole world just they got the whole world. These people ain't that sharp though. They not. They really not that sharp. They just in position. I'm about to give me a company. Same thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> create, create a little black outrage. You know yeah, what I'm talking about? I got a couple white homeboys, you know what I'm saying? They can beat up, beat up some of my other homeboys. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Boy, I can't believe it. What? Black people support right now. <laughs> you out of line. <laughs> <laughs> you call my man, call my man, you know what I'm saying? Call, call my white friends. Hey, bro, y'all want to make some money? Yeah, man. <laughs> That's what we need. We need some white friends. <laughs> no, for real. No, for real. I saw, uh, y'all see that video? I posted that video today. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that dude in the courtroom? Yeah, in the courtroom. Nice. That thing was beautiful to me. Right. That thing was darn gorgeous. Boy, I ain't never seen
seen no nothing like that thing with dogs. You, you had a man, he is out there wigging out like the courtroom, you know what I'm saying? Yelling, you can tell he a protest, he just walk into the courtroom, he just wigging out. Like, you know, they ain't got no audio on it, but he just yelling, he yelling, 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 yelling like just wigging out, you know what I'm saying? Hebrew, 100 percent You know what I'm saying? Wigging out, yelling. And then as the police started moving towards him, he just got white people just surrounding him, just yeah. like this. His, his own, all, wearing, all, all of them wearing all black. They white. They just stand right. So the police, it's the craziest thing in my life, bro. The police stopped because the white boys right there. Or the little Japanese girls right here. You know what I'm saying? Like all the white people are fair skinned people. He just stopped. He don't touch them. He trying to reach around them to get to the black dude. Clearly, all these white people are with him, though. You know what I'm saying? Like they just stand and they move just in a nonchalant way. You know what I'm saying? That one Japanese, you saw the Japanese? Oh, he is with it though. He is like, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. You know what I'm saying? He is with it. The rest of them were just like nonchalant. They're just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Nah, like just protecting them. It was the most beautiful thing I ever seen in my life. I was looking like that, now that's organization. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The way the, the person on there is like, it's how you weaponize whiteness or weaponize white privilege. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's the difference between an ally and an accomplice. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, I don't care nothing about all them semantics. But when you look at it and see the visual of, you know what I'm saying, people who care enough about us and they understand like what they can do to help us. Not like this, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to retweet what you're talking about. I'm, I'm going to repost. Like, forget all that. When I step out there and I'm in danger, you know they're not going to hurt you, so you're going to stand in front of me. That's beautiful to me. That's what we need. Mm -hmm. rest of this stuff is just play play. You know what I'm saying? All these people just giving us lip service. I'm not down for all that stuff. I'm not down for all that stuff. All these people just giving us lip service. Every single one of them. You got like 18 people running for the Democrat president for 2020. All these different people. You know how Trump about to wash their butt? <laughs> this thing about to be hell. These people, they set themselves up for another upset. For another darn upset. You just got here. Every, everybody, I mean, all these white folks were dying. <laughs> crying when Trump won. Yeah. And they set themselves up. They be lying to themselves. Oh, Trump is about to get impeached. What? What is wrong with y'all? Who ain't about to get impeached? You know how far away he is from getting impeached? These people been investigating him for two years straight and ain't found a lick of anything on him. If I was Trump, I'd be more confident about anything. I'd be like, that's why he be Oh, y'all ain't got nothing. That's why he be out there like that, bro. He probably got some dirt. He's like, it's two years. Oh, y'all ain't found. Oh, that's all y'all got? Yeah, uh, so we building the wall. The man, look, the man, the man, the man shut down the whole government. You can tell this man got all the confidence in the way he's like, oh, y'all ain't got nothing on me. The man shut down the whole government for two months. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's never happened. Like, can you, the yeah. arrogance of the dude. Oh, like, you guys want to play ball. <laughs> like, he know, he's like, you have nothing on me. Like, you can't find a thing on me. I shut the whole thing down. <laughs> Give me my wall. They still didn't give him the wall. He said, all right, that's all right. I'll open it back up. Wait two weeks and say, it's a national emergency. <laughs> now I have to build a wall with military. Either way, the man got what he want. He said, it's a national emergency. Wall, we ain't had a wall for years. You know what I'm saying? It's a national emergency all of a sudden. Now he can use military money to build it. That's all right, y'all. We got it. Now I shut down the whole government. Then spit in y'all face and say, all that work y'all did, I'm still going to build a wall. They can't do nothing with the man. They arresting everybody around them. You know what I'm saying? And they, they put it on the news like, oh, okay, you know what? Uh, this uh, this investigation that the FBI is doing on him, it's really turning results. They're supposed to be investigating two things. Collusion with Russia, right? He's supposed to be working with Russia to, to win the election. And he... Um, but that's pretty much it, really. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like nonsense, though. Like it's not even. It's nonsense, and it's not illegal. Yeah. That's, the, that's the other thing. Like it's really crazy. not illegal, but um, but it's nonsense. You know what I'm saying? So now he he set up this whole thing. You know what I'm saying? They, they that that's the whole reason for investigation. All the people they taken down with this investigation. Guess what they went down for? Tax fraud, money laundering, all these other things. None of it got to do with Russia. None of it. So he's looking at it. If I'm him, I know I'm looking at it like. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, you you about defrauding your taxes. You know what I'm saying? You was laundering money, but they ain't got me. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got me on no Russia. They want him to come out. Look, in the election, they told the man, just release your taxes. Thinking that was going to stick. He was like, no, nah, I'm not doing it. No, I'm not. They was like, oh, well, no president since 1997 that said that he wasn't going to release his taxes. Mm -hmm. And then he still got elected. So now these people have been hot about it. They let it go for a while. 
They ran out of all the other little tricks. Now they're bringing that thing back. Well, then release your taxes. Like, y'all still after this man taxes? That thing is crazy to me. But that's how they keep the world distracted. So now they got all these people thinking that Trump, oh, yeah, he about to lose. The whole world hate him. Just like they thought before he won, right? The same thing they thought before he won. Now, now you're making it even worse. You got 20 different people that's going to split the Democrat vote. Guess who running on the on the Republican side? Nobody yet. <laughs> Just gonna be Trump. Trump gonna be like, all right, bring it on, guys. The Republicans like, you're our man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're our guy. let's see how you do. <laughs> oh no, we're good. You know, the Republicans already know how that thing about the border tribe will not challenge today. That, listen, they not crazy. <laughs> These Democrats are crazy. Bro, but we going to work. Let me tell you, bro. The look on their face with Trump was. I don't was, care that about Trump. They was crying. But that thing was priceless. Crying. Hey, people. I just can't. I went oh, to my. work the next day, and I'm smiling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just sitting there smiling. I, I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't think I've been happier since Trump won. <laughs> Trump won, bro. Because I, I, you know, I got that little rebellious in me, too. Just like these white folks. You know what I'm saying? I was looking like, I don't like these Democrats, how they be treating our people. and You know what I'm saying? Using us as scapegoats and using our votes and all these different things. I kind of felt the same way. So anything to make them mad, I'm like, you know, that thing may be a little warm on the inside. I'm like, all right, you know, that's all right. You know, Either we can way, do it. we get the short end of the stick. Yeah, no matter you know what I'm saying? Let's try somebody different now. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. I'm okay with that. You know the black man will always be at the bottom of society. Listen. Whoever you know wins, that's y'all battle. That's me hey. now. I accept it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying? I like that. That thing right. kind of made me mad. You know like, that? okay, the Democrat a little mad. Trump's on racist. Okay. Uh, Hillary is too. So yeah, Is he the first one? You know, you know what I'm saying? Right. This country is racist. Like, oh, so we're going to blame Trump. You know what I'm saying? After like 400 and something years of racism yeah. in this country. Oh. It's like now the country racist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Trump made it racist. It wasn't racist back yeah. when we were slaves, though. Right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right. you know, get out of my face. I ain't about to hate yeah. Trump. He ain't said one racist thing toward black people that I can think of. You know what I'm saying? You can maybe say some borderline stuff against the Mexicans. His best friend is Kanye. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, bro, all I'm saying is everybody swerving down their votes matter when Hillary had the most votes and still lost. So, yeah. Nobody paying attention to these people, man. It's just, it's just, a, it's just a bit. Then you got our people mad because some of us don't vote, and it's like you guys voted for Hillary, all y'all, and she lost. Yeah. And she had more. But not she had more votes than him. Not just that. I mean, like, vote when it, vote when it makes sense. Yeah. Vote right. when it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we, we finally get to a point. Yeah, I ain't voting for none of these cheapskates. So I ain't voting for these people. Voted for some local people. You know what I'm saying? That thing didn't even make sense. But you know what I'm saying? You look at uh, you look at uh, you look at these Democrats now. All of them, we making some progress. Cause all of them got to talk about reparations. Every last one of them got to talk about reparations. They, they in a position now. It's like that's let's, the thing. Let's get these black people what they've been asking. That's the thing. Cause they know you know lose. You know what they looking at? We gonna lose. We're gonna lose. We gotta get every vote you know we can possibly happen? get. If they do get it, they will go back on their work. And it was one lady out of California. She popped up out of nowhere. I think she really mean it. She popped up out of nowhere. You know what she said? Let's get these black people reparations. A hundred billion dollars. Now, now there's a lot of people in our community that looked at it and they're like, a hundred billion dollars. <laughs> That's laughable. You know what I'm saying? But the simple fact that she brought it out out of nowhere, nobody else was talking about it. Yeah, well, it's like in a trillion. And now, yeah, multi, multi-trillion. Now, everybody got to talk. Everybody got to answer that question now. Bernie right? Sanders was and like, we, can, we keep on pushing. Oh, Bernie said he ain't going for that. Yeah, he was on the Breakfast Club. If I, I thought Charlamagne was going to like be a little bit more critical. I would have been like, so these other people got reparations. You gave this group this. You gave this group that. What people has been through more for a longer period of time and in worse conditions than us? And how come they got reparations? He should have asked. Nah, you know, you know Bernie Sanders wasn't going for that. Mm. Bernie Sanders, oh, no, nah, that's just, nah. he's said a check. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, cut him a check. No, 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 no. Here's a, you know what I'm saying? And this is the thing that bothered me, and this is the part that I always mad that he didn't respond to. Whenever whenever it comes to us, when we talking about something specific for us. They bring they, up brown and... They always oh, end up know. widening it out, you know what I'm saying? So Minorities. They ask them, you know what I'm saying, specifically, you know what I'm saying, like, how can we be repaired? And he's like, well, I think we repair by um, fixing the roads and uh, and making sure everybody can get a job. You know what I'm saying? Not just black people, but white people too, because they're not the only... Black people are not the only ones suffering. That's why I say you can't be on my radio show talking like that. When I ask you about something specific for us, because I, I mean, it'd be cool if like everybody was slaves. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody was slaves and everybody got oppressed for 400 years. You know what I'm saying? Like, then we can have that conversation. 
But until somebody repairs for the thing that only happened to me, right. you know what I'm saying? Then I don't want to talk to you about everybody. Yeah. I don't want to hear are you everybody president. I don't want to hear about, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear nothing about what are you going to do for my people. It's us now. Right? And we finally get to a point where people got to answer that question. Now, they still going to do a whole bunch of lying. You know what I'm saying? You got uh, Kamala Harris. You know what I'm talking about? Well, you know, I think we do have to come up with something specific to black people. Okay, well, what? Let's get specific. Let's talk about it. No, nah, she ain't going to get specific. You got uh, uh, Elizabeth Warren. That's another one that's running. You know what I'm saying? You know, all these people, they talk about res reparations and they throw it out there, but they ain't specific. The only one that got specific is that one lady. She was like 100 billion. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's far too low. We have bless her little heart. You know what I'm saying? Bless her, bless her little heart. You know what I'm saying? We ain't taking that. But at least she threw something out there. You know what I'm saying? We can work on it. We can work with that. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? We can take the highest bid. That's all we want. Tally of everybody in the census. You know what I'm saying? Give, us, need, our, give us our 40 acres and a mule and cut the check. I need that. Yeah. First, I, I need the check. And then you got to fix Flint water. You know what I'm saying? You got to fix all the water across oh, the world. Man. You know what I'm saying? And you gotta and you gotta give us grants to schools. You know what I'm saying? Like I need I need all of it. You know what I'm saying? College, all that. I need all of it. Give us all of us. Food stamps for life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Wait, y'all go ahead and hit me off with the stamps. You know what I'm saying? Why not? Jay Z should be able to get stamps. For I don't care how much money you make. Period. You a descendant of the slave? Oh, that's stamp there. You ain't got to pay for food the rest of your life. Period. That's it. I got that. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here like, you know what I'm saying? What are we doing? Nothing barbecue? We, we, we what y'all talking about? We built the country. You know what I'm saying? We built yeah, every day. My family built this country, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand? What the, the cold thing is, these, these people don't know, it's going to increase the economy. Yeah. The economy going to be booming at least for a little bit. You know, the part that they ain't going to like, they going to stop getting all the money. The economy gonna, the economy going to be booming. You know what I'm saying? You and you know what we gonna do. We just gonna put our money back into. Back, back in, you know what I'm yeah. saying? We gonna put it right back in there. The auto industry. The gonna only go difference. Crazy. The only difference, though. The only the difference. The housing, everything. We gonna have enough money to not only put it back in the system. Like we gonna have enough money to be irresponsible and responsible. Like these white folks. Like these, they they paint, paint these white folks like they just totally responsible. That's not true. These people are irresponsible and responsible. They just have enough money that they can be irresponsible and still be good. So then they can be responsible also. You know what I'm saying? We have to choose. We have to, like, every time we get a little bit of money, it's like, we get, every time tax time come around, it's like, man, look, I could pay off these credit cards, mm -hmm. but then I also want a new car. I'm going to get that new car. You know what I'm saying? So we got to choose one. Like, okay, do I want to be responsible? Or do I, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we take, all right, this year I'm being responsible. Next year, though, woo -hoo -hoo! you know what I'm saying? We, don't, we can't afford to do both. That's what would be different. You give us the big check and you and you set us up in, in terms of our structure. You know what I'm saying? You 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 give us grants and all these different things. That gives us a chance that now we can afford to be responsible. The property value everywhere will go up because then we'd be fixing the ghettos and making everything like look better. And, you know. And guess who's getting the money now? Yeah. We are. Because now we own the ghetto and it's fixed up and people want to live there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So now we get money and that's the part they don't like. Because that's what thing is doing. Uh, um, it's a wealth know? transfer. Nipsey Hussle was doing that. That's why it's a wealth transfer. Like it's, it's changed now. Yeah, imagine what Nipsey Hussle is doing if white folks had to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's a wealth transfer. Because now white folks are looking. They know what it is. That's why they don't. They resist to the idea. They looking like, okay, we doing this. That's gonna mean our taxes go up. Our taxes go up. We're paying more money out. Money going to black people. Black people own things. Now we have to share because that's something that I could have just bought out. But now I'm limited now. I can't buy that over there because they own it and they're not going to sell it because it's profitable for them. So now I only have this piece of the pie before I would have this piece of the pie. Okay, that's less money for me. And then that grows, right? The reason that we got pushed out and we get poorer and poorer is because they own more and more. So now when we start owning more, now it's a battle. You know what I'm saying? Like it's these two bubbles going up against each other. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody want to compete. They know they can't compete. Man, look what we did. We outthink these people at every darn look, turn. Look, look what we did having nothing, though. You know what I'm saying? We outthink these people at every darn turn. They know it, too. Nobody want to compete. Who got time for that? I mean, you winning the game. You winning the game under the current rules. You want somebody to come in and change the rules? I mean, under these rules, right? I can do my double step back. Right? <laughs> and with that double... I'm James Harden. With, I'm killing with this double step back. You think... I'm a... It, when was the last time you heard heard James Harden even comment on this traveling situation? Never. Mom's the darn word. But I ain't about to. What I'm a, you think I'ma involve myself in this? 
I'm shaking right on up. Because I'm winning with this thing. If the, now, what did it look like for me to go out and be like, please, somebody change the rule. I mean, just make that a travel. I mean, I think it really is travel. I'm winning with that. Don't benefit from it. That don't make sense. I don't want to compete. Let me just, you know what I mean? Get my shot off. That thing don't work. That's where we are right now. These people don't want to compete, and it makes sense. I wouldn't want to either. Right? That's why we, we, I kind of like, invent every almost everything that they use. We, we we invent a lot of stuff. We invented a like lot. Like low of key stuff. too, stuff that people don't even know. Like they don't give us credit for. Yeah. Like, or the internet was like created. Cause we is over. That thing cracking. I ain't know that. Yeah. But we we like we the was, internet itself. Like like you know what I'm saying? We yeah. Like, yeah. We would like you know what I'm saying? We would like servants to them. You know what I'm saying? So they they put up. It's just like me at work right now. It's like you know what I'm saying? What I do is. You know what I'm saying? I kind of think of the, the, the grand scheme of things. I'm like, okay, look, guys, this is my team. We need to be here by the end of the year. All right? And so I tasked them with coming up with ways to get there. You know what I'm saying? But they the little geniuses that make it happen. Like, they the ones that look at the, the details and be like, so that's how the slaves were. These lazy white people just like, you know, you know figure, figure out how to make this light work. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We sitting there, we like, man, okay, look, I ain't about to be turning on this light like this every time. Right? And then we just come up with the idea, like, boom, okay, a light switch. Boom, there you go. Well, you know, there's so many movies nowadays, too, that just put that... We ain't talking about no darn Moana. You need to cut that out. No, there's movies out there that put that out there that black people did come up with so many different things that white people end up giving themselves credit for. That's right. And the movie's produced by a white person. The cell phone right now. Matter of fact, was made by a black guy. Yeah, oh, that's that's right. Was that that the women with the math mathematician with the NASA and all was that stuff real? Mm-hmm. The hidden figures? Yeah. yeah. The black girl, the black girl that came with all this stuff. Yeah. Hidden figures that totally true story, like wow. all of it. It's it crackers though. Like they don't ever say nothing about it. Right. You don't talk about none of that stuff, man. It's like, you know. But it they like run, but they, like run. everything that's popular came through us in this country for the whole Everything that's popular yeah. come through us. And then what happened? They tried to tear us down. Then they said, uh, they said a black dude wrote all of his songs. And he oh, yeah, died, yeah. And he died yeah. broke. Don't get me yeah, started. Yeah. Uh, he yeah. took uh, from a lot of like uh, blues singers. Like a lot of like, uh, this black lady, uh, what's her name? All these people, all these people are scam uh, artists. He took a lot of uh, yeah. money yeah, order stuff. Everything he did. Like, all these genre scam artists. Too, like, Every yeah. genre of music. You know what I'm saying? Country came from what? Gospel? Or something like that? Mm-hmm. All these people are scam artists. You know what I'm saying? They tear down Michael Jackson, R. Kelly. Not saying that neither one of them don't need right. to be teared down. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that. They're not talking about Elvis. They're, they're not, not talking about, about Elvis. Hugh Hefner. They're not talking about any of these other creeps. Why are, why are people got to get taken down? Yeah, get you know what I'm saying? I, I found this page on Twitter. I'm on that thing, too. That thing called First. Yeah, the first Them First. That's what it's called. First Them First. So I'm looking like, what does that mean? First Them First. I started reading that thing. That thing was exposing all these white folks that be doing all this creepy stuff. Before you come for our people, take y'all people first. Take them down first. Like, why Bill Cosby had to go first? Not only like that, why Oprah was the one who did the exposing of uh, Michael Jackson uh, leaving Neverland thing. Like, why make a fool her? out of us. <laughs> they make a fool out of us. They probably came to it like, Oprah, if you don't do this. Well, she they, probably got, they probably got some they stuff got on stuff Oprah. Too, though. I mean, they probably yeah. got stuff on Oprah. Like, yeah, yeah if you sure. don't do this, yeah, we don't get you. They make a fool out of us. Oprah, like... Don't come for my legacy. You no. notice how they do that thing? No, that's they just had. They just had a. Uh, didn't R. Kelly just have an interview? Yeah, yeah. Her With who? Best friend. Who? Gail yeah. King. Yeah, her best friend. And that's who? Best friend. Oprah's best wow. friend. Gail King is she black or white? She black. She black. They, they, these people ain't. They know what they doing. They try. They put us. They put. They put us out there to to go crucify us. Right. Let me interview Weinstein. Yeah, for sure. It's- I bet you they're not gonna put one of us in front of Weinstein. They gonna put some white person in front of Weinstein, let him take it easy, or they just gonna let him hide out and they ain't gonna say nothing about the situation. That's what they've been doing. They like all his little court cases, everything he got, just handled in private. Don't nobody know about it. Ain't no big story, no documentary. Matter of fact, they do got documentary. You know what? You never heard about them though. I wonder why. I wonder why. They have they they can't um they got to pay for that type of stuff. They get paid out. Certain things they, you know, certain things they do. Like, you know what? We're gonna do this, but we're gonna kind of, we're not gonna put it, put you out there like that. Of course they do. You people make a fool out of it. I can't stand it. I look at it like, you know Man, what I'm saying? Our people fall for it too. Fall for it every time. What happened? So R. Kelly came out. People was making this same point. 
Like, okay, yeah, maybe R. Kelly is wrong, but there's a whole lot of other people out there, and these women was just, ah, oh, you guys don't care about black women! And, and, and to some degree, I feel them, because that element is there, right? There is a lack of concern for black women in, the, in general when it comes to the world. So I get it, and I, I don't want to make too much light of that. Jeez, you know what I'm always saying? Laughs. Always laughs. Always. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. But at the same time, you can't get emotional and fall for the what, like what's going on. Like you have to be able to separate two things. All right, we gonna deal with ours, right? We gonna deal with ours. But uh, before y'all try to deal with ours, let's deal with all yours first. I mean, let's just how about this? Let's just handle them in sequential order. Who touched the little girls and little boys first? Whoever's touched them first, then let's deal with them first. So you have the first, the first time that a Catholic, I think Cardinal, has ever been, uh, what they call it, excommunicated from the Catholic Church. The first time that a, uh, a Cardinal has ever been excommunicated from a Catholic Church for pedophilia, right? So the Pope came out like, yeah, we getting rid of this guy for pedophilia. Did he go to jail? Okay, hold on. So let, help me understand this. Let's just help me. I just want because sometimes I don't be understanding. So Bill Cosby is accused of giving a woman a pill and having sex with an adult, an adult woman, all right, and having sex with her or somehow you know doing something. You know what I'm saying? Some type of sexual act that they call illegal, right? Um, years, 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 years later, right? They bring these charges against Bill Cosby. They don't have a lick of evidence. All they have is testimony, right? His testimony versus her testimony. And he goes to jail. Okay. At 80 years old. At 80 years old. <laughs> they have evidence. They have testimony. Mm -hmm. And he got excommunicated from the, the, the authority where he is for this. No charges brought against the man. No. None of these priests have charges brought against them. And this this church is still, still alive going. and thriving. Yeah, still, going on. still touching boys. Yeah. The sick thing they said that this man was in the confessional. Wow. Soliciting, you know what I'm saying? What he got going on? <coughs> like you know how sick that is? That's crazy. Like you sit here and wait for somebody to confess to you. Like you know what I mean? I've been struggling with this, that, and the other. Me like, oh, you been? That what you been struggling with? Let me open up this window real quick. <laughs> Like you sicko, little yeah. boys though. No, but that's crazy, bro. When you think about it, it's crazy. Just, you just waiting for him. Like Michael Jackson might have been the sick. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You don't really know Michael. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like Michael Jackson been through a lot, so he could just be an absolute weirdo. I think he's just weirdo. Right? It's very possible that the man is just like you know what I'm saying. Like, oh, you know, like my dad beat my butt. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't have a childhood. And you know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? They, you know, the, the doctor says that. You know what I'm saying? They made me take certain medicine that made my voice stay like this. And some people say that that took away my functionality in certain places. You know what I'm saying? So it's like he, you know what I'm saying? He operates absolutely, it could be that he operates absolutely different. Right? His his thing is, you know what I'm saying? When when all that stuff came about of, uh, 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 in the first place, he was like, listen, I didn't have no childhood. And I love to, you know what I'm saying, have these kids around so I can like experience that with them. Especially the ones like Macaulay Culkin. You know what I'm saying? Like I, he used to have Macaulay Culkin around in nine and nine to fourteen or somewhere like yeah, that. And uh, uh what's the uh, where to pay Culkin? Oh, real? He's at him around too. He tried, yeah. He trying to hit him out of uh, trying to do that uh, move on that type of stuff. Yeah, he got that from Michael. Yeah, so and like he did used to. It was weird that he do all the dance on the show. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So you look at he brought on because one of the things he said he's like, man, I identify with the child stars. You know what I'm saying? Like they're stars. It's like I just identify with that. It's like yeah, we, my man's was super successful, at like eight. And like yeah, eight like super nine. young, like, like like the man, super young. And it's like those are the ages of the kids that he brings around. Yeah, he, you know what I'm saying? So it's like. I'm not, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? The thing is weird no matter what. You know what I'm saying? That thing is super weird. Right. But at the end of the day, it, he has a very different life. You know what I'm saying? You can't compare him to, like, you know what I'm saying, somebody, like, I know a lot of people that didn't have a childhood. Well, you can't really compare him because I don't know a lot of people that are worth millions of dollars without a childhood. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that, like, me without a childhood, if I didn't have a childhood and grew up in the hood, 
I might just knock somebody block off. Right? That's different if I had that same experience and then you give me a million dollars in the midst of it. Like, as a nine-year-old, I have a million dollars. I can move away from the hood. I can go wherever I want to go. Right? I can do whatever I want to do. Right? Or maybe I can't. In, in, his, in his situation, I got a million dollars and I can't do whatever I want to do. I have to be on the road. I have to do this. I have to do it. My, my dad whooping my butt trying to make sure that my money is staying coming in so that he can get paid off of it. Right? It's like all these different things. It's like that alters how you think about stuff. So it's like, I don't know, maybe, you know what I'm saying, maybe, maybe he was touching on the boy, maybe not. Either way, let's deal with some of these other people that's alive, that's touching yeah. boys. They trying to get the Michael Jackson one show off the strip. Why? Wow. You know, these people, these people trying to get rid of everything. These people, these people trying to get rid of everything. Vegas ain't crazy. The people they need that money. They used to be choreographers with Michael Jackson, but can't book anything now. So now, all of a sudden. Oh, we don't need to even talk about the people that are doing it. We don't even need Oh, they got a history going all the way back. That's why he won his case. Because he is able to look at these people like, all right, hold on, let me make sure, let me make sure. Didn't you have a relationship with Chris Tucker too? Oh, and you tried to extort Chris Tucker for money. Oh, wait, hold on. Didn't you have a, what's the Mexican dude, the Mexican comedian? George Lopez. George Lopez. Didn't you have a relationship with George Lopez too? Oh, and you tried to extort him for money. They broke their butt down. They like, oh, y'all got a long history of trying to get money out of celebrities. The uh, I don't know that you know I don't know these people name, but one of the one of the ones accusing accusing the one of the families accusing yeah, they, uh, Michael Jackson of touching on them. Yeah. Oh. They tried to they they tried to get you know what I'm saying money out of Chris Tucker and uh, George Lopez and probably other people too. But that's how they won the case. That's how Michael Jackson won his case because everything they said he could show them like it don't even make sense. You know what I'm saying like what they saying don't make sense. Like yeah okay they don't have anybody that ever said they you know what I'm saying now I touch anybody. Then later on. People start coming up and saying they touch it and they can trace the money. Oh, okay, well, this person got paid from that person and they got to deal with that person and they admitted that they lied about this. So it's like all types of stuff. So even the, even the boy, I haven't seen the documentary. I don't plan on watching it. But even on the documentary from what I hear, you know what I'm saying, you got one of the boys who, who came out and said that he was lying originally under oath. You know what I'm saying, said that nothing happened. And now, un, not under oath, now he all of a sudden it's, it's a problem and, you know, and this is what was going on all these years. Meanwhile, this is the same boy that they got on record and on charges for stealing jewelry, like $500,000 $500, worth of jewelry from Michael Jackson. That's the boy. I think that's the boy from uh, the Pepsi, his Pepsi commercial that he kept for like five years on tour with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's the one he was teaching to dance. Yeah. yeah. yeah he couldn't and the boy, you know what I'm saying? The boy can bust a darn move now. You know what I'm saying? And now, after he did all that scammer stuff, don't nobody want to mess with him. So when the money starts flowing up and he got sued by Michael Jackson, right? Michael Jackson sued the pants off his butt. They sued him for like a million bucks. He will <laughs> never be able to pay that. So he's always going to be in the hole. So as money starts, you know what I'm saying? He can't book no shows. It's about that time, y'all. Got to bring it up. This is the same. All these times that it came up, I think it came up in 93, and then somewhere in 2000, then 2005, and then now in 2018. You know what I'm saying? So all these things, times that it kept coming up, same guy. Same people, you know what I'm saying? Just come, you know what I'm saying? They get other people involved, but same group, same people. And all it is is they originally got sued by Michael Jackson for like a million bucks. And Michael Jackson not lying for that because he know they can't afford that million. <laughs> that ain't got to lie. Michael Jackson's a cold dude. Cold, he's he's a cold, son, that's Sony. a cold dude. He's like, on Sony, bro. Oh, you mess with me, huh? He's, all right, we'll get him. He, he on the Beatles stuff. He stick them lawyers on him. Like, oh, yeah, we'll get him. Oh, yeah, a million bucks, boy. <laughs> Now, i wait, you know what I'm saying? I'll be dead. You can pay it to my family. Right? But that's all it's about. It's about, it's about trying to get off from under that debt. So, okay, uh, let me stop money from going to him and try to get, They saw the R. Kelly thing take off. They said, oh, let's move quick on this. They already had this stuff ready. It's like, let's move quick on this. Right? The people have an appetite for this. The black people turn, they got this, what they call the cancel culture. The culture. They'll cancel anybody right now. You just got to show the evidence. These are R. Kelly. You had evidence. I hear. I ain't watched that one either. But I heard you got evidence on that one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm hearing. For years. I'm 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 hearing history, from the. Don't make it any better. Yeah. Uh, he's a mess. I'm hearing from I'm hearing from the Michael Jackson thing. It wasn't no evidence. It was just people just running their mouth yeah, talking about yeah. Never 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 FBI was searching him. Never FBI him. searched the homie. You know what I'm saying? The homie. The homie. He he he, he came and raided his house and did all types of stuff. They ain't find the thing. Ain't find a thing. His maid trying to tell him, you know what I'm saying? No, nah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? The flight attendant, you know, he had the private plane. The flight attendant tell him, like, well, no, nah, I mean, yeah, I seen him touch the kids, but I mean, like, they be listening to music and he'll wrap his arm around them. 
I ain't never seen them do anything you know, un unappropriate, I mean, inappropriate to the kids. You know what I'm saying? This, that, nothing. They all vouch for them. You know what I'm saying? Then you got some that be like, no, nah, I saw them. I saw them do this, that, and the other. They look into these people's history. Oh, they got paid by this person. Oh, yeah, they got paid by this person. They lied about this. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, all these people, you know what I'm saying? Like, leave this man alone. He's you know dead. what I'm saying? He's or, dead. If it's something to if it's something to, to mess with them about, bring the evidence. Don't be right. bringing all this stuff that you already told us and then told us you was lying about, and now you come back and you told us to tell us again. Sure Nobody right. want to hear from you. Bring me somebody new who's gonna tell. Let me hear Macaulay Cockin say. Right. Yeah, he was the one that said nothing happened. Yeah, yeah he took this a lot of them that said nothing happened. All the, time. all the kids that was over there, the majority of them, like, man, he never did no crazy stuff to me. You mean to tell me it's like three of y'all? Three of y'all that had a problem? And it happened to be the three of y'all that are the scammers. That got paid. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't listening to y'all. You, you got the pan suit off your butt. Somebody shoot, somebody shoot me for a million bucks, bro. I'm going to be depressed. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm be sitting here depressed. Like, You'll never pay that off. I'm just going to sit under a darn rock. I don't know. We ain't talking about no book that they did with you. Uh, You'll never pay that Social off. Social media. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We ain't talking about no book today. I'm telling you, bro, I'm giving it We gotta grab something, you know what I'm saying? Give me something to grab. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna sit here too long. We gotta grab something. What we got? Somebody give me something to grab. Hold on, hold on. I thought of something else. Let me see if they'll come back to me. Uh, we, were talk we were getting ready to talk about Nehemiah. Oh, yeah. But it was something else. It was something else. Mm -hmm. They ain't talking about Nehemiah. We were not part of Jesus' feet. Yeah. Because you know the story how. Nehemiah was like, if you come to my house or come over here for yourself, something like that, on Saturday. Give me something out of Isaiah. Yeah, what you been reading, man? What you, what's something, something that you been thinking about? Uh, I was reading what was that? Y'all let these white folk get me riled up today. Yeah. They got to pay that anyway, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, by the time this nation is like, you know what I'm saying, that is in, they gonna, they ain't gonna, nobody getting by. Yeah, they going to give all that up. Yeah, ain't nobody getting by. All this stuff coming to us. That's how it's gonna look. Ah, there we go. That's what. I'm That's how it's gonna look when these white folks. You know what I'm saying? I was telling y'all about the white white people standing in front. That's how it's gonna look. Book tells us very clearly. He said. He said they gonna carry you over in a uh, swift beast. Yeah. That's how it's gonna look. These people, these right. white folks gonna look out for us. You well, know what I'm saying? Who was that that said? Uh, uh, I think it was Proverbs. He said uh, the rich gather all of their stuff just to give it. Just to, the to give. Just to give it to the righteous. Just to give it to the righteous. That's all up. What you think these people building this stuff up for? Yeah, like every, just so when it crumbles, that thing can fall right in our hand. Yeah, every all of the wealth of the world is built up just for the righteous half. All right, so I mean, just I mean, just because everything we look in the book, that thing always play out just you know, just so we can see it happen again. So I mean, let's think about it. Mm, I don't know what was what was like one of the first rich nations. Egypt. I don't know Egypt. Egypt huh? was, yeah, Egypt. Okay, how did Egypt get rich? Because I really don't remember. Hebrews built it. Oh, mm -hmm. wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. So you mean to tell me? You had a Hebrew yeah. that came up with a plan to, to have Egypt buy all of the nations around it? That was a Hebrew's plan? Then after that, the Hebrews became slaves? That's crazy. That's crazy. And then all that riches went to the Egyptians, right? Okay, hold on. And then God plagued the Egyptians with 10 plagues. And then after that, what happened? We left, and then what did we end up getting? The spoil. That's all, all our stuff. All that stuff we got, y'all? Oh, yeah, we'll take that back. Thanks, I appreciate it. We just don't give it back to the most high. Some the temple got to be built. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. it. That thing, <laughs> that thing, I appreciate it. We'll take that. So you get that thing right back. We'll take that. Go ahead, go ahead and furnish our new, our new, our new homes. We appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Right? How do you think that thing going to play out? People make a fool of them, paying attention to you people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, put yourself in a position where, you know what I'm saying, you're not winning in today's game. You know what I'm saying? These people winning because you winning in today's game, that thing going to be tough. You're going to have to give it up. That thing going to be tough. Right? We got out to the wilderness with one of our complaints. Yeah, man. One of our complaints is like, man, look, I mean, at least, at least, at least, at least in Egypt they had fish. Yeah, we got something to eat. It's some cabbage out there. You know what I'm saying? Right what now. What are you going to do with all that money in the desert? You know what I'm saying? We be out here with manna. You know what I'm saying? We be manna. You don't think that thing going to happen again? Yeah, we going to get out there and be like, man, look, at least there was a cheeseburger in America. In and out. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had it. And I know. Listen. God know me. I know I'm going to be one of the ones running my dog <laughs> mouth for a little bit. I'm going to catch myself. Like, all right, man. You know what I'm saying? 
No, nah, no, nah, men are good. Men are good. You know what I'm saying? Start two pieces of men and they have a double man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Double man up with cheese. You know what I'm saying? It's all right. I'll work with a guy. You know what I'm saying? You got to catch yourself because at first you're going to be like, man, look. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I remember around this time. I'll go to in and out. Probably can't kill no animals in the camp. Go to Fat Burger. You know what I'm saying? Give me a little, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm just eating some manna. You know what I'm saying? Just some manna. You know what I'm saying? I think it'll be an amazing thing, though. Most yeah, like that. I appreciate the most like that. Mm-hmm. See, the ones that the ones that don't know the history gonna struggle, bro. I don't want to sit next to them. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, look, bro. Uh, it's all right. We'll make it through this. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you probably never read, but yeah. I'm saying we've been here before. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you I don't know if you read. But you don't want to say that. You don't want to say shut your mouth. Come on, just be quiet. Follow me. Keep your head down. Let's go. I just, you know what I'm Hopefully, we don't. Man ain't playing. You know what I'm saying? Man ain't playing. I can tell you, man ain't Hopefully, we don't end up being one of those ones either. Yeah, that's how it go, man. It's like, you real tough right now, but when you get in that situation, you know what I'm saying? Bill, what you gonna do? You got to have that strength, bro. What we got, Dan? Uh, I was reading uh, Isaiah 11. I'm gonna take it. It's Isaiah 11, two, mm-hmm. verse 1. Root of Jesse. Yeah, that's easy money. And that tie in what we talking about. That's easy money. Yeah, because the guy just gave David the promise. <laughs> oh, excuse me. This is a manual one? Or is that 14? No, that's 11. No, I know. I'm saying, is it, did he say that also in 11? No, this is the one when he's like the lion going to lay down with the ox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what yeah, I was see, talking about. See, that ain't happening yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I was trying to figure out a lot of stuff. Lion's still know. eating gazelle right now, so, you know, that ain't happening yet. <laughs> and there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding. Spirit of counsel and might, spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. All right, so now what it's talking about is the rod of Jesse is talking about uh, David dad, right? So remember when we were talking about when, when Samuel was looking for uh, somebody to, to, to make the king mm-hmm. after Saul, he went to the house of Jesse, right? And he was like, where Jesse's son's at? And he, really? he ended up getting David, yeah. right? So that's what it's talking about. It's like, okay, well, this is going to be somebody from the offspring of Jesse, right? Talking about David. Then, remember the last week we talked about the promise, right? He said, he said to David, I will make of your house. Like, I'm going to make you a house. You, you thought you were going to make me a house? No, no, no. I'm going to make you a house, mm. right? And so then he set him up. He said, listen, of, now the kingdom is never going to fail to have a man from your bloodline, right, on it, right? Talking about Yahushua, because Yahushua is going to live forever. So by the time we get to Yahushua, it's never going to fail, Right? So now when this is talking about David and the offspring from David, read it again. Watch this. So that's why in the New Testament they would shout out to him, say, son of David, have mercy on me. You know what I'm saying? Because they knew. That's the prophecy. Yeah. The, one, the woman that was supposed to come, it was supposed to be a man from David. That's the only way that thing going to work out. Right? It, it can never work out any other way. You had to come from David so, if you were going to be the Messiah. So Mary, right? Mm-hmm. The virgin that gave birth to Yahushua was the seed of David. Right. And even her husband, who didn't even have nothing to do with Yahushua, yeah. came from David too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of them. I'm reading that too, yeah. Right. That's the <laughs> And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. Mm-hmm. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, and the spirit of, spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. And shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. Mm-hmm. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor, and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. So in Revelation, how I say, how I say that he was going to uh, judge the world? With the sword that came from where? With his mouth. And the, the sword was the word of the Lord. Right? Where do you think Revelation got? I mean, we read Revelation. You know how these you know Christians give yeah, Revelation. They, they, they be like, oh, no. Oh, I'm scared to read yeah, Revelation. That's, a, that's the only book. You got, you, got, you got two types of Christians. You got the Christians that say, my favorite book is Revelation. Or you got the Christians that say, oh, I'm scared of Revelation. You know what I'm saying? You only got them two. Yeah. Right? Revelation is always something extra special. And it is. I ain't going to say it ain't. Yeah. Right? Revelation is special. It is an intriguing book. But uh, let me tell you something. Revelation is just... Uh, that's just a, the, you know, what I'm that's just a, that's just a summary. You know what I'm saying? Isaiah. You know what I'm saying? You talk about Isaiah. A lot of that came from Isaiah. Yeah, that's why I'm like, yeah, that's why, that's why I was like, check this by text. I was like, wait a second. Oh yeah. Isaiah talking about a lot of stuff. A lot of that came from Isaiah, right? Revelation, 
there's not much new in Revelation. Right. right? It's not. It's not much that that hadn't been said already in Revelation. Revelation is what what it's really doing. It's like um, I'm trying to think of the best way to describe it. It tries to put the puzzle. It tries to give you more hints to a puzzle. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like it's like okay, I spread out all these hidden riddles throughout this whole book, right? The Revelation's like okay, let me take all of these hidden riddles or a lot of these hidden riddles and let me put them in one place for you, and then let me give you a little bit more context so you can start pulling them together. Like you didn't know that what was written in Isaiah one goes with what was written in Isaiah sixty. Like you never knew that those two went together. These things just random little pieces. So then Revelation to take Isaiah 1 and Isaiah 60 and put them right next to each other and then tell you a little story about it afterwards. So it's like, oh. But if you don't know Isaiah 1 and 60, yeah. you think that's just something brand new. Yeah. But now you go back to Isaiah 1 and 60 and you get even more context. So then it's like, okay, now this picture is starting to come together. Right? When they get to telling you about, when they get to tell you about uh, a dragon with seven heads and the body looked like this and this, that, and the other and and one head was, and the other one was not, and the other one is to come. Like, you look at that, like, man, I don't know what this talking about. You get to dreaming up all types of weird stuff. But when you know the book, and you look at it, okay, the way it described a body like a leopard and a bear, you know, I heard that before. That was the book of Daniel. So then you read the book of Daniel. Okay, hold on. So the book of Daniel describes kingdoms. Four different kingdoms in the book of Daniel. It described the, what was it? Babylonians. The Babylonians, Persians. the Medes, the Persians, and the Greeks. Right? So that's four different groups. Okay, so now that's four groups that was there. And then you also have before them, in terms of kingdoms that ruled over Israel, the Egyptians and the Assyrians. Right? So that gives you six now. And then it tells you there's one head to come. Which is wrong. Yeah, wrong, right? The one that is and is to come. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you look at these things, it's like if you know the book and you know the history, you can pull all these pieces together. If you don't, then you're just looking like, ooh, look at this. I wonder what the head that is to come. Oh, you know what that's going to be? That's going to be the F-20, the F-20 fighter jet that America is making next year. <laughs> Like, that's the type of stuff that people, really doing, they, just, they, they think of that, oh, like, oh, when they say the grasshoppers that smell, that sound like running water, or oh, they're talking about the uh, the helicopter, that new helicopter that America is about to produce. Excuse me. <laughs> Do you think God is out here taking his time talking about a darn helicopter? Right. Yeah, none of them like, break that's rank. what you got? Yeah, none of them break rank. Yeah, look, like, is that what you got out of that? Yeah, you got to read Hosea. No. Oh, you talk, no, nah, not Hosea. That's uh, Joel, isn't it? No, nah, I think it's Hosea. That's Hosea? I don't know. Can we go to it? Try to find it? Go Joel chapter 2. That's where I feel it's at. Uh, it might be Joel. I don't know. I don't know why I'm thinking Hosea. Maybe Zechariah? Nah, it ain't Zechariah. Not Zechariah? I'm not thinking Hosea at all. I don't remember that being. I don't think Hosea had nothing like that in there. Could be, though, I guess. I could be tripping. I ain't read Hosea in a little while. But let's see Joel. Let's see what Joel chapter 2 say. Maybe. I think I want to, I think it should be like around the middle, if I'm not mistaken. It might not be Joel, though. It might be something else. Let me see. Let me see, Joel. It gotta be Joel, right? What else could it be? Let me see. Chapter 2, you said. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's Joel 2. Oh, uh, yeah, it's Joel 2 what? Uh, 4. You know, it's, it's at the beginning? Oh. It's Joel chapter 2. Give me verse 1 if it's at 4. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, 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 it's Joel, you're right. Let's see what, let's see what it says. I don't know why I was thinking for there. Uh, wait, let me see. What are we, what are we about? Uh, we'll start at one. This is Joel chapter 2, verse 1. Watch what the book say. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let mm -hmm. all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord comes. For mm -hmm. it is night, for it is near at hand. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. There has not been ever the light, neither shall there any more after it. Shall there be any more after it. Even to the years of many generations, a fire devours before them. And behind them a flame burns. The land is as the Garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, 
and nothing shall escape them. So you see what that's saying? Up before me, that thing look beautiful. As soon as I get to, when I go past it, I look back, oh, that thing's a desert. Right? Everything I'm walking, everything he walking by, that thing getting toe up. It look great before, I mean, when I'm looking at it now, it look great. By the time I end up looking back at it, oh, that thing gone. It's gonna be some real problems. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses. Look, appearance of them, this is what Revelation talking about. Right, we read in Revelation, like, ooh, oh, you haven't read Joel yet. Joel give you a little more information, watch this. And as horsemen, so they shall, so shall they run. Uh huh. Like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains, shall they leap. Mm -hmm. Like the noise of, of a flame of fire, that devours the stubble as a strong people set in battle array. Mm -hmm. Before their face, the people shall be much pained. All faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march everyone on his ways, and they shall not break their ranks. So does this sound like a helicopter now? I mean, if you only if you only paying attention to half of the story just to make it fit into what you wanted to fit into, sure. But when you get the whole context, that thing don't make no darn sense. Keep going, watch it. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk everyone in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. Mm -hmm. They shall run to and fro in the city, and they shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses. They shall enter into the windows like a thief. The earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. All in the Lord shall utter his voice before his army. For his camp is very great, for he is strong that executes his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and who can abide in it? We look at these things, and all these things gonna happen. We don't know what it's talking about, all right? I'm not gonna sit here and pretend, like, oh, this is exactly what it's going. I don't know. Nah, right? Things look like. Uh, is it? Is it? Uh, yeah, it got women's hair. hair. Yeah, horse, yeah, was it horse hair or women's hair? Women like it's like long hair, hair like, like women. women yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they got breastplates and yeah, like got, horses or something. Yeah, Some was like horses. And they got uh, they got scorpion tails and it's like when it stings a man. And, you yeah. know, they gonna Revelation give you more details. Yeah, they gonna right? Run, yeah. You look at Revelation, it's like okay, ooh, okay, so it's okay. So it got long hair like women. That could be a painting on the helicopter. Okay, when they got a tail, ooh, helicopter got a tail. You know what I'm saying? You that's how these people. A white man explained that whole thing on YouTube one time. When I was a Christian, I looked at that, I'm like, ooh, that thing made sense to me. I ain't never read no Bible and read the darn book. I'm just listening to what he read. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he stopped where he want to stop and explain. I'm like, that makes it sense. also said they're going to sting men, and they're not going to die, even though they're going to want to die. Mm -hmm. They're not going to die. Can you imagine? And they're going to torture. They're gonna you, torture. Get hit, you get hit with that thing. You like, just kill. You remember I saw what we just read about Saul. Saul got, got hit with the arrow. And he is in a position. He's like, man, look. Just go ahead and kill me. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want these people to do it. Like, you imagine one to die and you can't die. Saul tried to kill himself, according to the uh, to the man that went to David, tried to kill himself and he didn't die. You know what I'm saying? Like, you imagine one to die and you can't die. You know what I'm saying? If they ain't going to sting your butt and you're going to be like, just in so much pain, just like, look, just just let me go. You know what I'm saying? You're not going you're not gonna be able to. Right? That's what these people got to deal with. You know what I'm saying? In the darn helicopter. Don't sound like no helicopter to me, at least. I keep my eye out though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say, let me not say what it's not gonna be. Most I gotta make it a helicopter too. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you ain't never seen no helicopter like this. Most I gotta make it a helicopter just to make me a fool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't gonna say what it's not. I tell you, I keep my eye out. Whatever it is, I keep my eye out. I know it got a line over the book. That's the only thing it's for. It's not for us to predict. Right. You know what I'm saying? We ain't out here trying to say, oh, this is how it's gonna look at this, that, and other. Man, man asks us, you know what I'm saying? He's talking about, you know what I'm saying? So, so what's gonna happen in 2019 since this is the 400 year? Well, I can't tell you. Yeah, I can't tell. All I can tell you is, according to the calculations, it seems like it's 400 years. Maybe it, maybe nothing happened. Maybe 400 years already passed. You know what I'm saying? Maybe 400 years in a couple years. Maybe everybody dates us all. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to tell you, if this is 40 years, 400 years, then it's 400 years. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you what the book says. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Let's just sit back and let's see what happens. Because at the end of the day, the only reason he's giving it to us is so that when it happens, we can be like, yeah, that's right, real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was real. You know what I'm saying? What you said yeah. happened. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That was real. You know what I'm saying? It's just an, a, a trust. You know what I'm saying? We just establishing trust. It's just for him to be able to say, I kept my word. All right? Mm -hmm. We'll get into it. We'll, uh, next week, we'll get back on regular schedule programming. You know what I'm saying? Kind of, kind of ventured off. You know what I'm saying? Got passionate about some things today. You know what I'm saying? But we'll get back into, you know what I'm saying, David and um, 
kind of kind of following out his journey. Eventually, we get through David. We start to talk about his sons, uh, but you know, there's a few things that happen in between there that give us some context. We'll see. We'll probably have to circle back. There's a lot. It's a lot that we'll probably end up skipping in David, but um, it's almost intentional, right? Because some of the pieces that we skip kind of tie in later on, so we'll kind of go at back. Because I like us to have it's certain pieces that I kind of wanted want to be fresh in our mind as we read the next part. So we read about some of the things that happened in Solomon's time and all that. I want you know what I'm saying like the kingdom getting split. Like a lot of times you know what I'm saying we 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 forget that the kingdom got split under David. You know what I'm saying. So it's like. When the kingdom gets split officially, I want to kind of tie back into when the kingdom got split with David. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of show how even the Most High God through that situation is kind of giving us a heads up. But look, this is how it's going to happen. Yeah, he did the same thing with Saul. He ain't take over from him right away. Yeah. 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 And then, uh, yeah. Yeah. Also, it was a testimony to how Yahushua is the one. You know what I'm saying? Because when he come, it's going to be one. It's like Judah and Israel ain't going to fight no more. Mm -hmm. They're going to be one. Dan to be a sheep. Beauty and what's it? Beauty and bond? Yeah, can't rip his garment. That's a gem right there, you know what I'm saying? The Roman soldiers couldn't rip that thing because that was real. <coughs> Any questions? Alright, well, let's pray out. <coughs>